hello everyone today we are going to study about the foley catheter so how to insert it and it will be one of the tops in the third year of the pattern hospital student so it will be helpful for them also so let's go with the topic so uh, talking about like how to insert the foley catheter uh, mainly we'll talk in the female uh, in the gyne and the offs uh, ward and the operation theater so how we can insert it and the uh, all the thing which we require to know uh, before the insertion of the foley catheter and the procedure and the indication uh, why we are using it so let's go with the topic so at first like foley catheter will be like this mm, so uh, here is the one is the balloon port and the uh, another is you can see that uh, there is a okay okay there will be like balloon port and then urine drainage port like this is the balloon port and this is the urine drainage port where the urine uh, bag will be attached to it here and then there is the balloon like which will inflame when inflate when we uh, insert the anything from this tube like balloon port and then it will be infl inflated and then here is the like opening uh, this is for the bladder opening and it will come through this uh, part and then it, it will form it will get collected in the urine bag which will be connected from this so this must uh, be we must know about this thing uh, about the gender uh, what are the things uh, we know about the foley catheter so for the anatomy like uh, first we need to know about that uh, like uh, labia uh, majora and the labia minora uh, we have to detect the labia minora in to insert the foley by um, like retracting the labia minora and exposing the urethra and the vagina and then we have to insert through the urethral opening so uh what are the thing is required like a lignocaine gel which is two percent is required uh in this uh case which uh, where it is required i will talk you in the later and then 10 milliliter of the syringe for insertion of the sterile water so we have to consider that we do not have to uh insert the normal saline uh this is the most thing you need to know like before uh, doing the foley catheter insertion we cannot insert the uh, normal saline okay it will sterilize uh, it will uh, become crystallized when we it can crystallize the bladder and then uh, when the f removal of the foley it may not come so uh, we have to always use sterile water and we have to fill it in the uh, 10 milliliter uh, like syringe and then we have to be ready uh, with the this 10 meter syringe with sterile water which you have to remember most uh, if we uh, use the normal saline and then it crystallize then we have to we cannot uh, pull the uh, foley out then we have to do it like uh, you have to see from the usg and then from the suprapubic aspiration we have to take out the like uh, urine so many complication can occur there so you must know that we have to use sterile water you it you can uh, you must not forget about this otherwise many complication can occur uh, in the patient so uh, i'll cross it here okay so like uh globing uh, we have to know like uh, your uh preferred size uh which is available like six six point five seven seven point five so you have to check that which size you fit and then you have to uh, cut it from here and then this inside this type of uh, things will come out and then you have to open it and then you have to uh, thumb like from for the right hand uh, you have to make the thumb in the right side and the ventral position of the uh, uh, hand like and must be up so that uh, you need to know like this type of pattern uh, you have to make the hand and like one uh, 
tips is like when we insert the first right hand you have to insert like it is easier to, uh, when we, you insert the first right hand and first you have to uh, like first insert the thumb and then uh, when you insert the thumb when gloving then other finger will automatically goes to its side so uh, first uh, insert the thumb and then for the next uh, like left uh, glove you have to uh, use the this type of pattern so that this is the on uh, sterile but this uh, inside is sterile so you have to do the uh, look for like um, uh, toss the inside part and then uh, you have to insert the uh, like first thumb and then other part then it will be easily uh, grabbing you can do easily grabbing and then for uh, let's go with the step like you have you need to uh, have like 10 milliliter of the syringe with sterile water uh, lignocaine uh, you have to ask a friend or the nurse to uh, give the lignocaine at the time which i'll talk say to you later and then uh, then you have to uh, do the like uh, uh, gloves you have to take your appropriate gloves so uh, for the steps like you have to be in the right side of the patient uh, you have to be in the right side of the patient and uh, like in the operation theater then uh, after the completion of the anesthesia process then uh, the anesthesiologist will give permission to apply the foley and then you have to take the consent from the patient as you are uh, as if the patient is having spinal so she can speak but if general anesthesia then uh, already we have to take the consent uh, already about this and uh, we have to take the consent and why we are uh, applying this or inserting the foley we have to tell to the patient and after agreeing from the patient then we can start our procedure and like there will be the clothes uh, which is covering the body part of the uh, patient so we have to remove it slowly and then we have to put the patient in the lithotomy position uh, as much uh, like uh, in the lithotomy position and then uh, one tips is like uh, if you uh, uh, wide like if you uh, do this like much wider then it will be more easier to visualize the vulva and the urethra which uh, later we'll see and then so i will recommend to like uh, as much wider as you can like uh, make uh, the wider thigh so uh, in that position it will be easier to visualize so you have to keep the gloves uh, like and, and the 10 milliliter of the syringe with fill with the sterile water and you have to take out the like uh, the needle uh, from the uh, from the syringe so that after when you glove and when we in the time of insertion you cannot remove that uh, needle uh, by the one hand so if you do it already it will be uh, easier for later to insert the 10 milliliter of the water uh, inside and then the nurse will give you uh, in like three cotton balls in a uh, kidney tray to sanitize the uh, bulb and vagina which i will talk to you and then you have to be uh, ready with the dustbin uh, below the uh, bed and these are the prerequisites you have to fulfill uh, before starting of the procedure so first you have to take the consent and then uh, you have to make the position and then uh, you have to uh, be ready with the gloves a uh, syringe uh, like 10 milliliter of the syringe and then the uh, kidney tray which is containing three cotton balls to sanitize so let's go with the procedure so with the uh, left uh, hand you have to uh, rinse like you have to uh, sanitize from the up to low like this uh, if this is that cotton ball you have to do this type uh, at first up to down why we are doing up to down is that uh, the flora there are many flora which is like uh, residing in the inner side 
if we do down top then it will uh, can come to the vagina and then again in chance of inspection will be increased so we have to do from up to down only for one time so by the left hand you have to remember like first left hand okay by the left hand and then throw it in the dustbin okay and then uh, like uh, as already talked like you are you have already uh, started like uh, you have already wear the gloves and then the left hand from the left hand you have to uh, like sanitize from the up to down and then uh, throw it in the dustbin and then you have the with the left hand uh, you have to like retract the labia minor as your uh, you have to retract the labia minora by your left hand now so the first left hand you have to rinse from up to down and then by that hand you have to uh, retract the labia minora so that uh, you can visualize the urethra and the vagina so by retracting the uh, like in this figure like you can uh, use these two finger also and these two finger uh, but i recommend to use these two finger more easier and more movable finger and more apart you can retract the labia minor so like if you use this then um, you have to retract this much like not much more retract like you have to hold it for the long time so do not give pressure pressure to the uh, finger just only retract a bit so that this inside part is visible uh, if you cannot uh, visible urethra at the time okay it will be okay you will visible in the next step but you have to retract and the possible part must be seen uh, inside that and and you have to hold for a long time so do not give much pressure to it uh, because if that uh, if your hand uh, slip out then the sterilization like sterile part will not be like uh, there there so you have to hold it for the long time so give gentle pressure and retract it it will be retract easily as you have already widened the like thigh so that it will be easily visible so do not worry about that uh, that uh, in the female the most complicated part is that uh, the visible of the urethra uh, so you have to retract uh so that uh, like inner part is visible in this case so uh as uh, like you have detect and then you have to hold that hand for a long time and if uh, like the retraction is complete then you have to hold that uh, hand uh, uh, and fix that hand there so you now you cannot move that uh, two finger from that it is now fixed so after the retraction of the labia minora then from the right hand at first you have to use from the left hand now from the right hand uh, take the another cotton ball uh, and then again uh, like then again uh, the same procedure like you have detected this uh, okay you have detected uh, this and then um, again from the cotton ball then you have to do this okay you have to do this one time only okay one time and then throw it in the dustbin and while uh, doing the second uh, sanitization you have to uh, you have to be much more careful to see like from the range uh, from the sanitizing from the upper to lower you can you have to see like uh, there is a urethral first opening when you uh, mm, do the sanitization process like you have you can see like first opening and the second opening opening uh, when along with the uh, like movement of the cotton ball so you have to see the opening of the like uh, opening the first opening will be the urethra so you have to be much more uh, observable at that time this is the time where you have to see the urethra most difficult part of the uh, foley insertion in the female like finding the urethra or uh, getting know the urethra so uh, at this time you have to see the urethra where first opening you have to 
memorize like where is the first opening there so uh, you have to be more much more uh, careful to see that opening so if you see like uh, opening in the first retraction then it will very easy like uh, it is okay you have seen the urethra in the first movement but uh, in many cases uh, that doesn't happen we, we have to see the urethra at this like second cotton ball you have to see like uh, in many female like uh, the urethra will be in the collapse form uh, uh, generally like uh, then when you uh, sanitize from the cotton ball like from the above to lower then it will be uh, open and you can see the urethra um, so first opening from the uh, when the cotton ball goes from the upper to down then it is the urethral opening you have to uh, this is the most uh, valuable like procedure most valuable steps to identify the urethra and identifying urethra in the female is much more difficult okay so then uh, when you see the urethra and then the sanitization process of the second sanitization process over then you have to uh, do the like third um, same like second and third procedure will be same but the, this time you have to like at the first time you have you have to retract at the second time you have to see the urethra and the sanitize it and at the third time reconfirm the urethra the position of the urethra you have to you have to reconfirm that there is the urethra when you do the uh, third time cotton ball like sanitization and and then uh, you have to look the carefully and the same uh, process is repeated so uh, and then like uh, now you are in the condition like uh, your two um, the left hand is in the fix uh, in the retracted uh, position of the labia minor and then uh, like the urethra is visible and then now the nurse will give you the uh, foley and you have to hold the foley not much more uh, closer to the tip and not much more uh, much more away from the tip if you uh, put the if you hold the uh, very uh, hold the uh, foley in at the very tip then uh, it will be difficult to insert and if you hold the foley far away then it will uh, like uh, this uh, it will get lower and then you cannot uh, make it hard so that uh, to insert the urethra so you have to hold in the appropriate uh, at the appropriate uh, position of the foley so when you hold the foley then you have to ask the uh, friend who is taking the lignocangel uh, which i have talked already to uh, like ask the friend to uh okay ask the friend to put uh, the lignocin at your uh left hand upper part of the left hand like dorsal part of the left hand which where you are wearing the gloves so you have to rinse the foley in that lignocin uh, one to two time and then you have to insert at the urethra so you have to insert at the urethra uh, like confidently uh, it will not much more uh, difficult uh, to insert it so if you have less confidence then it will shake and uh, then it can go to other side but uh, you have to uh, be at the right hand like more stable and it will go inside easily not much more uh, difficult to do that so then when you insert the foley then uh, like uh, uh, little push little uh, bit much more there and then the confirmation of that uh, uh, foley as it goes to the inside the urethra is that like the urine will come out through the foley like through to the urine bag and you can uh, confirm that there is the um, coming of the uh, like uh, it is in the right path that the foley is going so there is uh, more chance there is also a chance of uh, having like a vaginal opening you can insert in the vaginal opening but if you do it carefully then there is negligible chance to uh, do it in the vaginal opening so there is like saying like if the urine do not come to the urine bag do not inflate the balloon so 
uh, first you have to check that it is in the right uh, position or not so uh, you have to do it and then urine will come through the pipe and then uh, the must uh, like after you insert this then and like uh, only four to five centimeter uh, is the female like urethra so it will easily goes to the urinary bladders and then a little bit a little more you have you can push and then you have to now you have to hold the foley catheter with your left hand so uh, so like if this is the foley then uh, it is inside the uh, like urethra then that retracting left hand then you have to hold uh, this foley the most uh, common uh, like mistake the uh, student do is like it can slip uh, from the like if you insert and then it can also slip so you have to hold by the left hand and then uh, then like uh, uh, then you have to hold this part like uh, when where you can inflate the balloon like balloon port then you have to hold it by the right hand and then put uh, like do this type okay hold these two by the left hand okay first uh, left hand will uh, uh, help to not to slip the foley from the urinary bladder and then uh, the other thing is that it will hold the bladder like balloon port so that now from by the left hand by it is done by the left hand and by the right hand you have to take the 10 milliliters of syringe with the content of sterile water and then put it here and then uh, press the water inside and then the balloon will be inflamed uh, inflated inside and then you have to uh, remove the syringe from the uh, like uh, balloon port and then you have to like you have to uh, like uh, pull the uh, pull the foley catheter little much more to fix the um, foley and then from the side uh, it will not come the urine only from the foley the urine will become now and then uh, then uh, you have to uh, take the urine bag uh, uh, in the lower the like bed and then you have to relax the leg of the patient and then uh, you have to put the all the like uh, that kidney tray and the other thing which you used in this uh, below the like operation theater uh, below the operation trolley like that there will be the uh, instrument which is above and below you, you can put there and then you have to uh, put the gloves in the gloves dustbin and then uh, you have to wash your hand and then your uh, like fully insertion process will be completed at that place so uh, like it is a detailed overview first like uh, for the summary is like uh, first you have you have to ready with the gloves your appropriate size gloves 10 milliliter of the syringe with the sterile water and uh, then the lignocaine gel uh, which like friend or the nurse will give you and then uh by the consent uh consent by taking the consent then by the position position of the patient and then the, the retraction uh, like first uh first sanitization first sanitization is by the left hand from the up to down and then the second is like uh, retraction of the labia minora and at third then sanitization from the up to down by the right hand uh, then like fixation of the left hand in the labia minor at the fixed position and the fourth like again do the same procedure of the third and then we have to take the foley arrange with the uh, lignocaine and then insert in the foley like insert in the urethra and then a little much more insertion and then hold the uh, foley by the left hand and it will prevent the slip from there and then uh, hold the like 
balloon port by the left hand or step only and then insert the 10 milliliter of the water from the balloon port and then uh, take out that 10 milliliter of syringe and then little pull the foley so that it will be fixed and then uh, put the urine bag uh, lo lower like below the bed and then relax the legs of the patient like uh, at the straight position and then put the all of the things which you used in the uh, this procedure below the trolley and then go to the uh, like gloves uh, throwing dustbin and throw your gloves and wash your hand so this is the procedure which we have talked in the above is this is the summary so i will i know you do great and uh and it is much more easier uh, after you see like first what's the other doing it uh, before trying so uh, one two time if you watch then you'll be confident to do th this procedure uh thank you thank you for the watching video